Is it fall yet? Please! Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you saw from the title above, this is going to be a Vintage Chic Sense haul. I love Vintage Chic Sense. She is one of the vendors that I fell in love with years ago. If you are back in the day, old time YouTube fan of wax channels and candle channels, you remember Kirby, aka Vintage Chic 1927 here on YouTube. She doesn't really post videos anymore, but she was a teacher. Loved wax, loved reviewing, loved Lush. That's how her and I connected. I worked at Lush. She made Lush bath cocktails. And I loved everything she did. She loved everything vintage, everything she stood for. And she decided to start her own wax company. Now, I'm going to link my original video talking about Kirby the first week she launched years ago on YouTube down below. But definitely... She has grown exponentially. And Kirby, the only thing about her wax that kept a lot of people away is that cure time. The cure time. The amount that you need her wax to sit before you use it. Now, everybody feels differently about it. I've talked about it before in my videos. Back in the day, people would cure Kirby's wax for a year. Now, that's insane. It's a long time. And that kind of kept me from ordering a lot. But, I've recently learned that she had a wax formula change, and her stuff throws. My friend Danny, I remembered your name, Danny. Oh my god, I have to laugh, a little tangent, a little, not tangent, but, you know. Uh, Danny talked in her L3 video, and she's like, my Instagram friend, um, what's his name? He has a big channel, it starts with a D, she couldn't remember it, and then she goes, oh, Drew! I just thought it was super funny, so shout out to you, Danny. I know Vintage Chic is one of your favorite vendors, but she recently changed her wax. I hear it throws amazingly, and during COVID, I did order a mystery box because I'm like, I don't really know any of her new blends, and Kirby is famous for her blends. She has some amazing blends you would never think go together, and I melted them all, and I loved them. I wasn't really feeling my best, that's why I didn't film the video, but... I placed another mystery box, which is right here, and I placed a ready-to-ship order, which is here. They're both not super huge orders, so I decided to just combine them together. Now, I will link Kirby's YouTube channel, or um, I'll, I'll link her YouTube channel down below. You can check out her Lush Bath Cocktails and a little intro to her company and her Facebook group down below. Definitely join. She typically does restocks on Sundays. It seems to be like every Sunday. There goes my money. You know how it is. But anyway, I have a lot of wax. It's 99% fall things. Not upset, because I love fall, as you know. Wait till you see this background in, it's June 27th. I want to say by the 4th of July, but that's crazy. But by mid-July, it's going to be fall. So without further ado, let's talk wax. I think I want to dive into the mystery box. Now, Kirby typically, for almost every restock, has mystery boxes available. And mystery boxes are really, really fun because if you're new to the company, you're not sure what to try, it's a mystery box of wax. So, this is my mystery box. It's all full, which makes me super, super excited. The first thing I have is Annabelle doll. Now, Kirby puts the scent descriptions as well as the pour date on everything, so it is ready. I don't need to put a label on it. It is ready to sit. I do let Kirby's wax sit for about two weeks to a month before I do melt it, so it does still require cure time, just not the insanely long cure time that it used to, and Kirby's wax ages like a fine wine. I see people in her Facebook group, they have wax that's like five, six years old, and they pop it in the melter, and it's so strong. That doesn't happen with a lot of vendors, so props to Kirby on that one, because you can never feel bad about ordering, because you know it's going to last forever. So, Annabelle doll. Don't acknowledge this doll. Instead, melt this blend of pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry. Uh, it's so good. Now, this isn't really fall. We have pomegranate, strawberry, and cranberry. Pomegranate can tend to lean towards more of a fall blend. Same with cranberry. But for me, this is just a really fruity, 
a cranberry blend that they're these little strawberries. Now, I would typically use this as a melt, so this would be like two melts for me. I like a lot of wax in my main area, so this is definitely going to be like a bathroom size melt. I'm also, I have a little bit of a sore throat, if you can tell. Next, we have Caramel Apple Jackie O. Now, you'll hear Jackie O a lot from Kirby. Jackie O is basically her intense vanilla bakery. It's vanilla bean cake, whipped marshmallow. So it's like a really creamy vanilla cake, and that is that, mixed with caramel apples. Now, we have a little rose shape, and we have like a little cake shape. And this, it gives me Cider Lane vibes for sure. Like a really decadent, rich uh, apple cider with a lot, a lot of caramel. If you love caramel scents, like buttery caramel. There's no sea salty caramel. It's just buttery, marshmallowy, delicious caramel. Oh, why does fall have to be literally the best season? Yeah. Now, I missed out on this scent in the restock and I was so upset, but it popped in my box. It is Anna Banana. And this is sweet churned banana ice cream. And we have it in a rose shape. I will be perfectly honest. This smells just like banana Laffy Taffy. I wouldn't say it smells like banana ice cream. It smells just like banana Laffy Taffy. And guess what? I'm not upset by that because I love Laffy Taffy and banana is my favorite flavor. Then we have two little pumpkins in This Is Halloween and that says, just like walking into a bakery filled with all things pumpkin. Jack Skellington approved. And look how cute this little pumpkin is. You got two little shapes. Now see, I will cut this in half. So I have four warmers behind me. I'll cut this in half, this in half, put them in my warmers, and it'll go for the entire day. This is just like the name suggests. You walk into a bakery in the fall, they have pumpkin cookies, they have pumpkin cakes, pumpkin rolls, pumpkin pies, literally everything pumpkin bakery. It's so good. Like I said, I will hold off on melting these for a little while because, I mean, it isn't fall yet. I mean, I do want it to be. Then we have Mick Boo, and it is one of her unicorns, and she is thick. This is a thick wax melt. Now, one of the highlights of this, this mystery box. Gooey marshmallows, campfire marshmallows, Palo Santo, and vanilla frosted grams. Just call Drew Palo Santo because it's my favorite thing. And you smell it. You sm it's an interesting that you have gooey marshmallow and campfire marshmallow in the same scent. So you definitely get like a sweet and a smoky marshmallow. But that really, I like to call it expensive clean wood is what Palo Santo smells to me. And I do get graham crackers with like a drizzle of vanilla icing. You get everything in this blend and I need this in an entire loaf. It smells so good. I can picture this would be relaxing in the bathroom, comforting in the bedroom, fresh during the day. It's fantastic. Next, we have a little rose in black flame candle, and this one is blackberry jam butter cookies, gooey marshmallows, and campfire. And this is a rose she like barely fits in here. Spoiler, I have this in a loaf coming up. It's so good. Blackberry jam butter cookies is such a cool oil because you get those butter cookies, those ones that you bite in and you swear you even get like pieces of butter in your mouth. It's so sweet and buttery and oh, just delicious. Mixed with blackberry. And then I hear when you melt this, the campfire note really comes out. So that's what I'm excited about because you have like this really sweet, bakery scent, the tartness of the blackberry with the smokiness of the campfire. Then we have Deputy Dewey, and this one is sweet pumpkin, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of zucchini bread. I only like it when it's mixed with things. And you can pick it up, but I will say it's definitely in the background. It's not super, super powerful. The pumpkin cake is delish. So I would say this is like 
30% zucchini bread, and then like 70% pumpkin vanilla cake. It definitely has no super spice. That's one thing about Kirby's zucchini bread is it's not super, super spicy. So when it blends with those other things, it just really creates like this creamy note. But I need to take a sip of water. I'll be right back. I'm refreshed for a little bit. I woke up the yesterday morning and I had a sore throat and I'm like, it's not good, but I haven't lost my sniffer, which is my pride and joy. Then we have the great pumpkin. Pumpkin layer cake with cream cheese frosting. Now, we're going to talk about another scent. The only thing in both of these orders that I do not like is cream cheese, but I love cream cheese, but the scent in, I'll talk about it next. I'm not a fan of. This is so yummy. So, where the Deputy Dewey has that pumpkin cake with zucchini bread, it's that same like pumpkin cake with cream cheese frosting. So you get like a little bit of a tanginess to it. Bring on the fall. Now this scent, cream cheese cookie monster. Doughy sugar cookies with a cream cheese buttercream frosting dipped in sweet milk. I love Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is one of my favorite scents from Kirby. This is a cute little blue donut. It smells like, I don't know if it smells like plastic or what, it just does not smell good. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. I smelled it. I got this box probably a week and a half ago. Um, and it's, I've been smelling it like every couple days. It didn't get better. I don't know. Maybe I will pop this in my warmers. Like, I'm not afraid to melt things. So I'll definitely pop it in my warmers and see. I'm not a fan. Then we have Sally's Final Girl, which is from Nightmare Before Christmas. Sugar cookies, pumpkin spice, chestnuts, and brown sugar. I love chestnuts and brown sugar. She has the scent Jackie O's Palo Santo brown sugar cupcakes or something like that to die for. This, I feel like, if you want to explore the world of cinnamon bakery scents, but you're afraid that it's going to be too cinnamony, this is what you go with. Because you have the brown sugar, you have the chestnuts and the sugar cookies. It's really yummy. The pumpkin spice is a very mellow. This is a very creamy, spiced cinnamon scent which I appreciate. I love chestnuts and brown sugar. I think it just adds a lot to it. Jackie O's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love my pumpkin pecan waffles. So this is rich vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows. That's the Jackie O with pumpkin pecan waffles. Ah, uh, to die for. Pumpkin pecan waffles just does something to me and it's coming in body care this year. You know I'm going to be taking a shower with pumpkin pecan waffles every day. I mean, I'm even tempted to dye my hair orange. I don't think that's going to happen. We'll see. Then we have, okay, so it says E11E. Is it L from 11 from Strange Roots? From Strange Roots. That's a brewery by my house. Stranger Things. And she was called Eleven, nicknamed L. Because it says toasted Eggo waffles smeared with cinnamon and sugar butter. And L loved Eggos. I assume so. I'm just using my, my brain. If you know, comment below. This smells to a T just like Eggo waffles. I know Danny loved this one too. It smells just like those toaster waffles, which who should be ashamed of a toaster waffle? I love a toaster waffle. 11 o'clock at night. I am super hungry and I don't know what to eat, but I want something sweet. An Eggo waffle with cinnamon sugar butter sounds right up my alley, and it does. It smells just like a cinnamony, sugary, buttery waffle. And last in the mystery box, we have one of her little souffles, and this is in Hell House LLC. I assume cutting this into fours or sixes. I haven't used one yet. I did order some in my next order. But this one says Campfire Marshmallows and Farmhouse Apple Cider. Mmm. You definitely pick up on the apple cider, and where Cider Lane is more of a super, super caramel, buttery caramel forward apple cider, this is more like dry apple cider. Almost like a spiked apple cider, like a hard cider. 
It definitely is more of that crisp apple mixed with marshmallow. Fabulous. All right, so that was my mystery box. Now, I am including... There I am. I am including my regular haul, too, because it's really not that much wax. Every order, she does send a little sample, and this is in a Prancer's Punch. Totally not fall. This is Huckleberry Mango Ginger Ale. I love ginger ale scents, and Huckleberry and Mango sounds delish. And it is. You definitely get the effervescence of the ginger ale. And then Mango, to me, I love a mango scent. Mango is one of my favorite fruity scents, especially to mix with, because it just has this really, like, drippy, juicy scent. And Huckleberry, mmm, I want to drink this. Huckleberry Mango Ginger Ale, to die for. So now into the, uh, we'll start with the souffles. The first one, totally out of my wheelhouse. This is called Suspish. Now, Suspish is Nog Champa, Vanilla Sandalwood, Palo Santo, and Black Linen and Amber. I'm going to take a sip of water before it smells. Now, this to me, there's no way to describe this. It has Palo Santo, but the Renaissance Festival. If you live in the United States, I assume it travels everywhere. The Renaissance Festival. I love going to the Renaissance Festival. Totally feel out of my element there, but love the Renaissance Festival. And that, to a T, smells like the Renaissance Festival. Like, when I go this year, because I'm going to go, I'm popping that in my warmers in the morning. I already have it planned. It won't be for, I think it's in a month and a half or two months away. I'm not exactly sure when. Letting that sit, get all super strong, and that's what I'm melting. Now, I messaged Kirby for this last restock. What do I need? She gave me a list. Got most of the list. Black Cat Crunch, she said, is one of her favorites. So we have Cider Lane, Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Crunch. I'm not really sure exactly what Vanilla Crunch is. I assume it's like, this is a souffle. To me, <coughs> I just smell Cider Lane, but it's not as potent Cider Lane. So I assume that's the Vanilla Crunch. It like mellows it down. But I'm really not sure. Like I said, this smells to me just like a more mellowed down version of Cider Lane, which I love my Cider Lane super strong. So I don't know what the Vanilla Crunch adds to it, but this was poured June 17th, so literally 10 days ago. I will let this sit till like August, September, and see what we got going. <gasps> okay, there we go. We have the Warrens. Glazed cinnamon donuts, a warm cup of mulled cider, topped with gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and sweet cinnamon. This is like her cider lane. Look at this cream color. Oh, the Warrens is one of my favorite scents from Kirby. She does some very cult-followed scents, and the Warrens is it. It is this, like, cider lane scent mixed with cinnamon donuts and marshmallows. I have, I have, um, what's it called? I have, um, some roses from her Etsy restock that I ordered during COVID, curing from, what was that, the, last year? <laughs> I don't even know. I have this souffle. I need a big, big loaf or bombshell bags or something Kirby in the Warrens. I'm trying to get this bag sealed up. It smells so, so good. There we go. Just took a little effort. Now, speaking of the Warrens, I also got Order of the Warrens, which is glazed cinnamon donuts, malt cider, gooey marshmallows, caramel drizzles, sweet campfire, or sweet cinnamon and campfire. So this is more smoky because it has the campfire note in it where this one doesn't. And that's really the only difference. It's like a more smoky. So this really to me, sets the mood for fall. Because you have that cider lane, that, that caramel apple, you have the donuts, you have the campfire, you really have the whole mood going. And I love that. <gasps> okay. We're gonna have a little bit of a story time. 
I'm gonna take a sip of water again. Now, I love musicals. I love Broadway. Waitress is my favorite show of all time. I got a waitress tattoo, Sugar Butter Flower, on the closing date, um, September 5th? I, I Don't quote me to that. When it closed on Broadway two years ago. It's my favorite show. It means so much to me. I see so much of myself in the characters. I adore Sarah Bareilles. There's a whole story. Anyway, Marshmallow Mermaid Pie. Kirby also loves her musicals, and she has some waitress-inspired scents. Sugar Pie Crust filled with a pillow of blue cotton candy cream, a layer of whipped coconut cream topped with fluffy miniature marshmallows. And this is a pie that Jenna makes in the movie for Dr. Palmer, or in the musical, and the movie. And this, I feel like I'm in the waitress audience, even though, I mean, they didn't actually make the real pies there. Some of the toppings were real. Fun fact, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but in Waitress the Musical, even on the touring company, they baked an apple pie that was not edible because it had so much cinnamon in it before the show, so when the doors opened to the audience, the whole place smelled like pie. Again, why I love the show, sensorial experience. This smells like just marshmallow pie. Like, you can't get any better than that. It's, it's amazing. Seal up my bag. Now, the last souffle I got, no way it has anything to do with summer or with fall. It's summer. Bomb Pot Martini. I love this scent, but I only love it on 4th of July. Now, could I melt it this 4th of July? It's only like a couple days away. Yeah. I'm saving this for next year because I still have some from last year. I love this scent, you guys. It's fizzy cocktail blend of blue raspberry, cherry, lemon, lime. And it smells just like a bomb pop. I got cut off. Not that thing that Bath & Body Works calls firecracker pop. That's not a vibe. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, on to the loaves. I have three loaves. One I talked about before, black flame candle, blackberry jam, butter cookies, gooey marshmallow, and campfire. Then we have the Cookie Factory, which is a new blend for Kirby, and this one is sugar cookie dough, vanilla icing, and a hint of oatmeal. And I went right for it in the big loaf because I knew I was going to like it. You really get, like, sugar cookie dough. Like, to me, not homemade sugar cookie dough. I love eating cookie dough. I love eating chocolate chip cookie dough. I love eating sugar cookie dough. It smells just like like the Pillsbury. Is it Pillsbury? The like slice, slice cookies. It smells just like that. I'll slice it and eat it. I'm not ashamed. And it smells like that with a little bit of an oatiness, which is from the oatmeal. I don't think it's like breakfast oatmeal. I mean, that's the thing when you eat breakfast, but almost like an odiness. It's really, really good. I can see this on like a Sunday relaxation day, like me today. I I can't get enough of this scent. Like I really like it. It's a really cool blend. I'm excited. I think she did have a pumpkin cookie factory I missed out on, but there's plenty more restocks where that comes from. And then Espresso Jackie-O. I go through phases where all I want is coffee. I have acid reflux really bad. I talked about it before. I can't drink coffee. I can't. I do. It makes me sick. So I can smell coffee. And Espresso Jackio is vanilla bean cake, whipped marshmallows, and espresso beans. You guys. You guys. All right. These warmers behind me are on a timer. They come on at 9 a.m., they turn off at 9 p.m. I typically, if I want to change up my wax, I'll change it that next morning or that night before. When I am ready to chop this up, it's like 8.30, change up my warmers, put a cube of this in each warmer, go to bed. When I wake up the next morning and these are on, this amazing blend of coffee goodness will hit my nose. And I don't think you could ever have a bad day melting espresso jackio in the morning. This scent 
I love coffee scents. Certain people can't do coffee. Kirby always can do amazing coffee. And Espresso Jackio is the coffee for me. So, that's my video. I'm heading to brunch, so I'll be editing this later. But it was so good to see you guys again. I'm so happy to be back in the wax world talking about all the amazing goodies. I have a huge L3 order coming. Oh, also, throwback Vintage Chic Sense t-shirt from years ago still fits. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, because I was bigger back in the day. So, anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you've tried Vintage Chic Scents, what you like. Have a conversation. Look me up on Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Everything will be linked down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.